Hey everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and this is basically just going to be a gaming live stream. I'm going to uh, work on Wednesday's uh, daily challenges and try to finish up as much as the weekly challenges as I can. I have a score bo booster right now. I'm down to 17 hours on it, so I already did Tuesdays. So yeah, I'm going to try to finish up the weekly and today's, or as much as the weekly as I can. And for the most part, I'm going to go no mic, unless I have some comments on what I'm doing. All right, check you guys later. Right now I'm putting on my flannel shirt because it actually gives me a little bit extra charisma. And I'm trying to get all those caps covered for today. Oh, I already have a steak. I think that's going to cover one of mine. Yay! Awesome. I don't think I have any mutant chops, but let me look real quick. go back to my vault because it gives me strength and endurance which the bloody does not increase my endurance that's why I also joined the team um, by myself I am hoping will also count for um, this right here kill a creature while on a team it didn't have to be with people I'm just on a team so we're gonna see if this is going to work and yes okay it was weird i had added the booster and all these were thousands i don't know if i got credit for this up i'll have to do the counting i'll try to maybe leave a note at the end actually let's see 
Rank nine, yeah, it'll take me a while to count. One, two, but anyway. Now I'm gonna head, well, actually I'm gonna double check what I need to do. I can do that at camp. Um, I need to grab that from my camp ally. Super mutants, and then keep working on that and that. Grab some drinks while I'm at my camp. Level up I won't complete today. There's no possibility because it actually takes three days. And I'm going to only have two. Make sure I did. Nope, just talked about it. Alright, heading to camp. I actually have my collectron set up to collect the uh, Nucleus, so yeah, hopefully that has gotten some in it since the last time I checked. Also need to do repairs while I'm here, and I'll grab whatever. My other things I've collected. sell the candy. Do you remember that candy counts as pre-war food if you ever need it for a score? Yep, let's see if she'll give me a quest. Awesome. That should cover that one. I'm going to check the new cola. You can also buy them from uh, these mystery machines at anyone's camp. Okay, need two. Must not have been all that long. Let's see, what do I need? Seven more. I believe it's one every hour from here. Anyone else noticing that the words are not showing up very good? Sometimes they're missing. Let's see if it'll do it while I'm talking about it. No. Should be able to get a picture while I'm here. Should be a couple more. I'll just have to wait for them to show up. But let's see. Take a picture of a super mutant. Now there is a trick to taking pictures to make sure that they do count. Let's see if it was a camera or photo mode. I think it was camera. Okay, camera. So you do need to grab a camera. It's in weapons if you have one. So it'll work even if they're dead. So up in the right hand corner, see Super Mutant Demolisher? That word has to show up for it to count. And there you go. Because if you just take a picture and it's not showing up the words, I seem to not be able to do it right now. But yes, always make sure the name is up in that right hand corner for it to count. See what else I got. All right, I need a mutant hound. And it did count. So yeah, you don't have to be on a team with people. You just need to create your own team. And quickly, I'll just show you real quick. You go to your map, R1 social. You go over to public teams, click on this, and just select one. If you're doing a lot of events, you can actually switch back and forth to get ones that do the best. If you're buying and selling Charisma, um, Bloody Endurance is good because you don't get endurance from the bloody build, if you need more intelligence, or if you're working on a daily ops or the expedition. So right now I'm gonna stay on exploration. I 
can go to my next one. Let's see. I'm going to go build. This one said light source, but there was also one, I think, in weekly. So it said anything. So the light source should work towards my weekly one. I got to do three lights. I usually have to go things that I build that I'm just going to scrap back because I don't need to have them in my camp taking up space. For lights, I like the fire. It's really easy to put. I just scrap them. I think I'll just go ahead and finish this one up. Uh, let's see. One. I need to build 16 more items. Now I do have a smaller thing since it doesn't matter. Oops. Alright. I'm getting button happy. Um, in floor decor, there are ducks, and they're just made of wood. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Too many? Now I gotta scrap. I have to be careful not to scrap my floor. I'm pretty much almost at budget for this camp. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Did the floor. All right, let me replace it. All right, floors. I wish they put these in alphabetical. All right, let's see what's next. Now, collecting caps can be rewards from doing events and daily uh, other things and by selling stuff. So anything that you collect a cap from, it'll work towards this. Anything else I can do here? Um, Gonna check to see if I have collected any more. Actually, I'll wait until after I repair all my stuff. My baby. I think that's it on the oh nope chainsaw. Probably it on the buffins. See how my armor is doing. Also gonna get some sleep in, reset for two hours and then well tuned. Then I'll be on my way. Yeah, since the new season 14 came, this camera 
I don't know, it's been really, really fast. I have made adjustments to it, but it's still really, really fast. <laughs> so sometimes my camera views are just like, yeah, really, really off until I get used to it. All right, get on the instrument. I think I'll be putting this video on my second channel. So if you're still watching, don't forget to subscribe to my second channel. I'll have basically the same Fallout 76 stuff that I had my original, but I'll also be adding uh, music videos, uh, pop culture stuff, other games. All right. Super Mutants are next. Two great places that are really close together. National Isolated Radio Ray, which is really close to White Springs for a reference. And really close to that is Hun Huntersville, which actually I have my survival tent really close to that, so I'm going to use it so I don't have to spend any caps, or not as much caps. Actually, I like this one better, but this one's close. Each section has, I don't know, at least 10 super mutants, at least one mutant hound. And this one has at least two. I think I just needed to take them out. Let me double check. Kill, yes. And then I need some chops. It also should work for this. So I just need eight more on that one. Oh, and let me get a drink. All right, increase my weight. More strength. Do you want high agility for any of your weapons? Anything on the new scoreboard anybody's looking for? I really want the freezer. I think it's a Fallout first members only, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. I still need to make some caps. Might be all that I need. I cannot I double check. Yep. Okay. The this Huntersville is really nice. Also, they have a bunch of meat sacks, um, sacks or bags, meat bags, 
and I have been able to get a lot of the ammo that I'm using off of them. So I've been making sure to go through them all. See how much it's actually going to give me today. Quite a few of them. Ooh, some caps. Remember those caps should count towards the minimum that I'm needing for the score. I must have opened it. I thought super mutant was coming through. Now there are some more super mutants. If that is not enough for this, and you're, I think there's, oops, missed it. Two or three more up there. One, two, could even be another mutant hound. We need more. I'm going to even try to do the leveling up today. I might use some lunch boxes later before we wrap up this video, but let me go ahead. Oh, there is the mutant hound. I'm going to run. Actually, I'm going to take these guys out. See if that won't give me more loot. Springs to sell off the chop. They also have a kitchen where I can make the chop. I'm also interested, of course, it's another Fallout first item, but the new uh, survival tent that's on the uh, scoreboard. So yeah, White Springs North Entrance, I didn't say it before, but has a mall. It has a lot of vendors, a lot of vendors with plans, especially if you're a low-level beginner player needing to find some plans or just weapons. Uh, they could possibly have legendary weapons, but only if you're in a public world where a player could have sold one to them. Again, I usually don't mess with the flannel shirt, but since I'm trying to get the cap minimum today, there's today's. I still got to do the weekly. Oh, let me, before I sell it off, make that chop. Mutant Hound. There it is. did not already have one. It just gave me a bonus because I had the super duper. Alright, just pausing to make sure I don't do the claim button because I do the button so fast sometimes it hits that claim. Alright, just gotta do the quest. Collect some more. Let me go ahead and finish that up close as I can. Now if you're trying to do that 2,500 caps in one day, 
what you can do is if you have enough caps is actually buy some stuff from the vendors once you get down to you know under a hundred caps left on them which I might do today just so I can get it done if I can collect enough stuff to sell Actually, I might not need to get 890 left. 8, let's see, 4, and 4 and 5. So 890. Yeah, I don't think I need to. But as I was trying to explain before, so you can see that vendors share the same pool of caps. They all have 890 left. I'll show you an example. Let me buy something. Go over to junk. And I'll just buy some screws. Just one set. Now the pool is going to go up. I think it's only, I don't know, let's see, 175. We'll see what the percentage is. Uh, so 175, less than half. It's probably about 40%. Of course, it depends on your charisma of what comes back into the pool. Basically, you can do that all day. Buy, get it. Just make sure you get it down to where you're not getting back, because the most it can go is 1,400 caps. If I didn't explain that very good, throw it in the comments. I'll try to do a better job of explaining. All right, let's see about. All right, I'm gonna be working on daily for my. Let's see, it's called... Huh. Okay, it's under miscellaneous? I didn't think so. Oops, I always do that. That's not it. That's weird. Oh, I didn't go down far enough. Okay, I was going to say, I thought it was called something else. Ah. Final lucky. Might just do that one if I can't find it. That's weird. All right, I need, uh, actually I already have the Myler Queen, but I might just go there anyway. Uh, I've already checked, but let me just double check. I still am bloody. And let's head out to the cop. Uh, Squatter should do my daily. I thought I picked up one from my ally. I don't know if I'll have to take out the Marla Queen or not. Usually there's two kings here. I don't see them. There was a hunter. Uh oh, angered the blood eagles. Okay.
might need to get the queen to come out. Let me check the board or the map. That's usually enough, but nope. some more water in me. AP recharge. And there we go. And if I still needed the Myler Queen steak, I'd be able to grab. The meat off of her. All right, let's see. Done with today. I'm still gonna try to do the caps, the Nuka Cola, and the level up. All right, I think I'll do the level up on here. So let me get the lunch boxes going. I could have done them earlier, but I was doing a lot of pausing. If you do four lunch boxes, you'll have basically twice the XP. Some other bonuses. And I'll probably do a scout banner while I'm at it. Alright, I'm going to head over to this one spot real quick. So you just follow the train tracks up by the train station. Whoa! <laughs> Let me back up. See if I can take her out. Might lure her back here. We'll get some altitude. And yeah, here she goes. Taking out all her minions. Those are just the babies. All right. This wasn't even my destination. All right. So yeah, you can just follow the train tracks up to this nice little uh, random spawn area so there's the train station I was talking about Matoga just follow the train tracks I actually spotted Ogua if I'm saying the name correctly Today we have, looks like settlers, so there should be a random enemy coming in as I enter here. So let's see what it's going to be. Usually they come from over here. There they 
car. Oh. <laughs> They're stuck. All right. I'm allies with settlers and raiders, so I'm just going to ignore them. Come over here. There's usually something around here, and then I'm going to take on the robots. See if the super mutants are still here. It's a nice little roof tie up spot. It actually has a super mutant boss. There's the salt drawn. There's quite a few of Sultrons over here. Take her and put the with me. Here comes another one. Oh, she got a shot off. There might even be one more Sultron. I'll just make my rounds around the robots. You definitely want densely populated areas when doing uh, the XP run, trying to level up. I used to. There's robots right here. I don't see any at all. I don't seem to be triggering any. Of course, I've not made the rounds since Season 4 dropped, so it could be slightly different. I'm not even wearing armor. Let me double check. Oh, I got my all on. did make a really cool video the other day. I was testing out the troubleshooter power armor. And I had it all the way set up to 75% resistance on robots and I just came in here and just let them wail on me. I think I had three or four of the assault cons. Taking me on at once. And all I was doing was taking stem packs just to see how long it could last against three or four at a time. Did really good. If I remember correctly, there's one more Assault Tron over here. Yeah, 
there she is. Switch guns. Oh, come on, it won't lock on her. Yep. Okay, they still need to work on this locking. It's not even showing her up. There, maybe that'll do it. Maybe, maybe not. So there's a few more robots this way, but the majority of what I'm looking for now are the super mutants. They're on a rooftop over here. Oh, I might also see what's to drink over here. It's a nice little spot. Usually there's alcohol here. Right now I'm just looking for uh, Nuka-Cola mostly. Okay. Oh, it just finally rewarded me. It's like, what did I get a reward for? Alright, we're going up. There's a set of stairs. But since I have a jetpack, I just go this way. The video is a little wigged out on that one. Alright, someone's still here. Oh, he just went over the roof. Oh no, he's hanging on. Alright. Give me some decent amount of stuff to sell. And I'll hold off going to sell the stuff until I am really heavy. Oh, I'm going to go and take on a death claw. I think I can go down this way. I think we got a little lag. Alright, I'm just checking how close I am. Not even halfway. I still need two more levels. Oh, I think I'll go ahead and drink that cranberry I have. Nuka cranberry gives me 5%, 2%. Every little bit of help. This is where the death call is. We'll see if he's still here. I haven't heard that they're changing a lot. What's going to be here? Looks like to be it. 
Also, you might have heard to check a respawn area. What's that? Huh. It's like Brahmins. But it could be a death claw, but I didn't see a death death claw nest, but I didn't see a death claw. Get a little closer. Yeah, it's a nest, but no death claw. Oh no, that is sheep squash. I don't see anything. I'm gonna pop my tent. Get some uh, height. All right, that was weird. I'll try my scoop. That was really loud. I would have thought the thing would have been really close. I'm pretty sure that was the sound of a sheep squash. Huh. Well, yeah, I'll run over there. It's another respawn, I mean, a spawning area. Yeah, this is definitely like a sheep squash nest with no sheep squash. <laughs> That's just weird. What's that? Beaver. Don't look like anything spawned here. Okay, oh yeah, that's just weird. All right, I'm going to check one other spot. I say it's just a glitch. It called out, but it's not actually here. It could be in the riverbank. I think I'm wasting too much time looking for it. Yes, I'm wasting too much time. All right, we're going to go over here. There's a bunch of Snallygasters. They're pretty good on XP points. Sometimes you just need to hit them for them to start appearing on bats. I also thought this was one of the things they had fixed. Yeah, 
And there's plenty more over here, so don't forget to come over to the cars. If you're wondering what weapon I have, I haven't seen it before, this is a Rail Ray Rifle. It is a legendary, it's a quad with explosive. It's one of my favorite weapons. Might be one less, one left of the Snellagasters. Let me just look over here. Looks like I did get them all. All right, we're gonna go see if the behemoths in town. So the abandoned bog town usually has the behemoth, but I gotta go to the pylon B13 to get anywhere near them with a fast travel, unless of course, uh, you've already claimed the workshop, or a member of your team has claimed the workshop. Maybe I'll look out and there'll be some nice cryptids. Oh, we got anglers. One, two at least. I'm gonna wait until I get up to safety before I take them on. There could be a third one. And there's the behemoth. We'll check him out in just a second. Looks like they are attacking somebody. Oh, some gutsies. Alright. Oh, here comes the gutsy and the behemoth. here, uh, the abandoned bog town, actually has a boatload of super mutants, that's also another place, it's great to get XP, even after you take out the super mutant, and this will probably be it, before I need to go sell off the stuff that I got, so I'll uh, keep going, of course, until I'm too heavy. Now, if you're needing events, claiming a workshop is not an event, but there's always uh, defend or retake a workshop that is actually an event. So if you ever need events that are pretty quick, you can just claim a workshop and then just wait for the event to spawn. I think I'm overweight. Yes. Now there's one item that will stack with food for weight, and that is the carry weight. So let me get one of those going. Actually, it might be under food. Let's see. Booster. Saw movement. Nope. 
Yes, I did. All right, I think I'm at capacity. I'll have to come back. All right. Let's drop some of those weapons, and then we'll just come back for them. Go sell. I also will drop a tent after I take out these guys. That way I'll have a. Who is he? Hunter. <laughs> is he hunting? I'll let him after that one. I'm going to see if I can drop my tent yet. Alright, let's go sell off. Check the Nuka Cola at my camp. Pastry will not stack with this. You can only have one food item. So if it's the same thing as carry weight, yeah, it's the one that you just took most recent. So that would nullify my plus 60 pounds for the 40. I finish up in um, the abandoned bog town. I should have enough to get me through the minimum I need for the caps. to do something while I was at the bog town since I placed my tent I should have unloaded some of my scrap material I could have carried more weapons all right back to the tent finish up with the super mutants
Some good points off these super new between five and six hundred, looks like. The pounds are worth about three. Now, of course, this is at my level, and with the lunch boxes maxed out. Ooh, a three star! Now, supposedly, they changed the rules on the legendaries. They don't longer regenerate, they're just supposed to be 60% more hit points on them to begin with. And that's what that one looked like, it didn't regenerate. Oop, and I did get a 3 star item, that's nice. Alright, um... Now for XP, it does seem like uh, non-humans are worth more. Ghouls are pretty good. Uh, super mutants are up there. Of course, all the large critters. We got 250 on the scorch. So I might go ahead up here to this other super mutant area I talked about earlier. And then I probably have enough to finish up the caps. At least what the vendors have. And then I think that was close enough to get me what I needed for the week on the scoreboard. I'm actually talking more than I thought I would for this video. Yep, there's a little lag still. Now if you go inside, there's quite a few, but I'm just gonna think about them, I might ignore them, but there is a boss down in the basement. And he's usually worth quite a bit. So maybe I will go ahead and go in. I forget I'm going for XP. start with the boss. So I'll go all the way down. There are different layers. Levels, sorry. One more. He hangs out down here. Let's see if that'll keep the super mutant hound out. Oh, those are cockroaches. <laughs> oh, exploding. There's one more. Where did it go? 
All right, I'm gonna switch back, reload. I'm gonna go up another level and start there. Cockroaches open the door. Definitely want don't want no cockroaches that can open doors. somebody downstairs is shooting at me. When you get hit, I don't know if you noticed, but you'll have a directional thing that kind of tells you from what direction something is shooting at you from. And see, yep, I collected the caps. There is a key down in this room if you have never been here before. I got lots of them. Loading dock storage key. You just keep collecting them. You only need one. All right, let's finish up with some more XP. in the water. If you're still needing super mutants and you've already cleared out this area, there is one right over in that building. I'm just going to ignore him because just one. And I think I'm going to go take on another large grouping of something. Or I'm going to see. How much I get for the um, mole miners. I was thinking they're worth more than a Scorched, but we'll see. I don't think they're as much as a Super Mutant, though. Now, there is a spawn area up here in the fast travel point. You can always go see what critters are popping up here. Looks like it's just ticks. like you get less than a scorch but there's a large group large group of them over here so still should be worth your worth the trip
Here one, I don't see him. Actually overweight. Let me go ahead and go sell off some stuff. I already completed the weekly cap minimum that I needed, but I still have caps I can get. Actually spent quite a few, so I think I'm just around what under four thousand. Drop my ex ex excess. Uh. Guess I could scrap them instead. That's what I'll do. throw the material into my scrap box. I think I still need to work on leveling up. I haven't even done two. Wow, how far away am I? Mm, yeah, I probably won't make two today. How much time do I have left on the lunch boxes? Eighteen minutes. All right, one more spot. Yeah, I'll go take on the Grafton monster, and then I'll go take on the Scorch that's at Wavy Willard's, and I'll probably call it a night. Oh, nope, I still have, I think, the new Coca-Cola I want to do. Go collect it from my camp. There we go. 
a thousand off of him. I think there's Snallygasters over here. They usually hang out around the birdie bird. Let's see if they're here. Random person. Okay, I think I dealt damage to the person and then it auto locked on them. I'm sorry, who are you? Alright, scavenger, I will notify your, your next of kin. Uh, I'll leave out a few details and I'll, I'll just give them some caps to, to make up for me being trigger happy. Alright. Let's go to Wavy Willards. I'll do a fast travel. Yes, I feel bad when I kill people that I don't mean to kill. And we're just talking about in the spectrum of gaming. I think I want to put my tent here. I like putting it up here. Oh, I gotta take out these robots first. Alright. So yes, you can put your uh, tents on top of things houses, as it's within an area that is not part of the map. Like I can't put it in here because this is a map marker area. Unless of course you go to build world then there you just sign the rules as you want them. See that one.
They're in the bathroom. All right, I'll keep going. There's actually some floaters up ahead, right outside. I think this is like the employee housing. Like super mutants are worth a lot more. Yeah, I think a snallygasters are up ahead, or a random scorpion. I don't know if she will be here. There was a Snallygaster on the island, but I will go see if the Mylar Queen is here. And there she is. She must have uh, heard me thinking about her. to look and see what I got for XP on her. Okay. Across the water are some more Mylurks. Regular Mylurks. And like... They're actually not worth a lot. There's some ghouls in the shooting range. We'll get on the truck. See if I can spot any. Yep, yeah, here they are. Let me just get up here if I can balance. Might also be out of uh, the lunch boxes. Let me look real quick. Nope, I still got nine minutes. So yeah, it looks like the super mutants are worth the most. Let me see if I can find another location. What's out? Oh. Right here. What's that? Let me just see if there's an event that goes on there where they are, but let me just see if they're there normally.
Some of it just blew up. Yeah, okay. I don't think I can jump that far. Yeah, go ahead and try it. Oh, not too bad. Without the event. I thought I beat the trap. I guess the trigger was on the other side. Okay, let's see what's over. Oops. Been failing to jump quite a bit. So close. White Spring, take on some more of the ghouls. Don't know. Oh, no, actually, there are some super mutants here. Might have two or three minutes left of the lunch boxes.
I'm not getting any red tickers. Did I make it? You guys distracted and didn't notice I leveled up. I need to check real quick once I land. Oh, nope, really close. Yeah, it'd take me too long to get to my second level, so I won't be able to do it today. Take me another couple hours, I think, or another hour. Not. 
Alright, let me see what I got, what I can finish up. Alright, so we'll do the Nuka Cola. That'll probably be it for today. Let's see what I can cost this. Oh, there's the weapons case. So why didn't it highlight it? All right, Nuka Cola first. Finish it. Oh, I just need one more. Okay. Where'd you go, dog? Alright, I'll probably just go buy one. First, we're going to go down here, finish this up. Maybe by the time I come back, my doggy will put one more Nuka Cola in my his doghouse. I guess it's his doghouse. Yeah, I keep saying I'm going to stop, but I keep doing more. Yeah, well, I can just sneak around here. Okay, I got my allies item. I don't think I've ever been in here. This kitchen.
Yeah, I think I'm just not gonna worry about that one right now. Now these little uh, quests I like doing for my companion, she usually will give me at least a two star legendary. So I'm hoping for a three. It's been three lately. Watch her give me a one star. It's weird that I couldn't find it on the dailies though. Could be I was looking right at it and did not see it. That's always a possibility. Oh, got a three star. Thank you, thank you. from all down here. I just needed one more. Did you give me one yet? Yay! Alright, looks like that's all I can do with the booster. That'll take me one more day, and, uh, hell, do I try to reroll it? I'm really close, though. Ah, uh, why not? Maybe it'll be something easy, or epic. Consume any, oh, okay, so I gotta do chems, and try not to get addicted. Nine chems. All right, what do I got? Got 11 of these. Well, do these count? No, consume any chems. Okay, so not a stem pack. What about... This. Yep, okay, we'll just do those. First I will waste them, but it's okay. Alright, let's go get more spoiled. Awesome. Did I unlock another? Yay! Alright. Let's see. So the only one I couldn't do is the one that takes three days. I did pretty good. Alright, let's unlock all my scoreboard items. So, with the booster... And waiting to use the boosters on two daily. So I started the last two hours of Tuesday. Finished up. Well, technically it's the last two hours of... Uh, so basically it was Wednesday at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Gave me two hours of Tuesday. And then finished up the Wednesday. So let's go ahead and claim what I got so far. I got the death claw sign. I should have used the booster. I forgot all about it. That was a bad move on me. 
Yep, would have been 30. So yeah, do you try to claim them as soon as you can. Get them. If you have to fall out first. Now I'm wanting, definitely want to check out Grandma Junko when I get her. Also, there's a, a tent for Fallout First members. But the one thing I really want is that freezer. And I don't remember what it was a part of. Ah, here it is. Oh, it is towards the end. Okay. So it's a military cryo freezer. It's supposed to put spoilage at 0%. I don't know if it's while the things are inside it or what. And again, it is for Fallout First members only. Now, technically, you can go through this entire scoreboard, and as long as the scoreboard is still there, you can get Fallout First for one month, go around and claim all the Fallout First items, and you will have them. But do realize you only will have them for well, for as long as you have Fallout First. But you can at least claim them, and if you ever come back to Fallout First, you'll have these items. So to remember that, you might just, at the end of the scoreboard, go ahead and do one month of Fallout First. And who knows, they might have a Fallout First freebie. Maybe claiming on the scoreboard might work. I'm not 100% on that one. But where is that new tent? There it is. So it's similar to tank is that it sits on cement, looks like. Cool beers. All right. All right, I did pretty good for my first day. That'll be it for me. Dev Claw Girl out. If you found this video enjoyable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Got any questions? Throw them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer any Fallout 76 questions. Um, get questions about the score booster, the scoreboard in general, earning score, events, whatever. All right, check you guys later. Good night.